In our continuing series of conversations with travel leaders around the world, let me mention two airlines you've probably never heard about, XL and La Compagnie. Both airlines fly to about 19 different cities, XL to 17 different cities, and La Compagnie between New York and Paris. And recently, I sat down in Paris with the chairman and CEO of both airlines, Laurent Magnin. Give me the history, if you can, of XL, because it didn't start with the name XL, did it? Ah, it's, uh, no, it's, it's a very funny story in terms of name, because the company started under the name of Star Airline. And, uh, and after 10 years under this name, like a pure charter airline, uh, the story was to be bought by a British company uh, driving by uh, an Icelandic group, and the name was Excel Airways in England. But unfortunately, this company disappeared in 2007, 2008. During the financial and, uh, crisis. Yeah, and during the financial, the f big financial crisis. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the, the girl, Excel Airways France, survived completely in France and continue uh, to, uh, to driving well the business under the name of Excel because the name was changed in 2000, 2007. And uh, the Star Alliance became uh, Excel Airways. What is XL Airways? XL Airways was probably a, a unique model of a charter airline to move on the low cost business. And you know, everybody um, forgets something in, in, in the airline business. Everybody talk about the low cost today. What, what is the low cost compared to the first big wave to carry the people with a reasonable price? Uh, it was the charter basis. I mean, in the 60s or in the 70s, everybody is focused on the low-cost business. Oh my, my God, it's, it's brand new. But it was charter. It's, it's, it's absolutely not brand new. The first big wave, not against the legacy, but probably to drive, and I, I, I like this image, what was finally the difference between the legacy and the last 50 years compared to the charter business or the low-cost business? Probably that on the legacy, historically, and you remember that maybe for the old people like us now, uh, people in the 60s, they don't pay the ticket with their own money. It was their company who paid the ticket. This is why big, big business class, big first class, because the people don't pay with their own pocket. Families, business, and all these things was, was unknown historically in the airline business. This was the top people in terms of revenue or the top people who travel with the money of the company who used the legacy. But to travel for holidays, they to travel for recover the family and the other part of the world, forget it. The legacy don't do the job during a half century of the history of the airline business. And the first ways in this way was not the low cost, but the charter airline. And, and the, the only thing, and, and probably a part of the difference between the charter and the low cost today, Probably it's a distribution, because finally the first big waves of the charter was drive by the tour operator, especially in Europe and historically, and in the United States too. I mean, and, the and tour at one point the tour operator had their own planes. When I, when I was 15, 20 years old, and my father was in the airline business, a lot of charter airline in the United States. I mean, in different big cities, and an airline was drive by big tour operator, and as usual, the American is and this is probably the strong side of your country, before everybody, you move to another model. And the tour operator, the big old-fashioned tour operator disappear, like, like we have this problem in Europe, I mean, except two or three big branding, I mean, the tour operating business is more and more in difficulties because people can travel and, and buy the digital on their own. At their own, they can they can find a real good hotel with a bit, with a lower price, uh, a real good airline with a lower price too, and they can organize their travel. They do their own package. Exactly, and uh, but I uh, we back to the to the packaging business compared to to all these things. But the charter flight was the first big wave. The second wave now it's definitely the low cost. I mean, and it's very interesting because. If you look, what is the situation of Boeing and Airbus? Back to the industry, more than just the airline business. Because the industry drives us, finally. When these guys have a problem to sell their plane, they are always saved by something, you know? In the 80s, Boeing and Airbus was saved by one thing, the noise. 
the, the, the obligation to put the incredible noisy plane out of the business to protect the people who live around the airport was the reason that we renew all the fleet, the fuel and the noise. Agreed. Okay. And now, who drive the long haul business in terms of money on the last 10 years? Legacy airline? No. no. Golf airline. You stop or you put out the Golf airline in terms of, uh, of buying plane on the last 10 years Boeing and Airbus for Airbus, Airbus or, or sincerely for Airbus yes. or Boeing, a goddamn nightmare on the last 10 or 15 years. And now the Golf is probably in the very interesting point with, with, in terms of strategy. The Golf now will be challenging by who? Not by the big legacy in the next 20 years, by the low cost. And I will explain why. This is the beauty of the model in the airline business. On the last 20 years, if you back to the story of the low cost, the low cost now is the only reason to, 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 to sell little plane by Airbus and Boeing. I mean, the 320 and the 737, this is not the, the contract of the legacy who drive the factories of these guys. This is the low cost business. This is the 400 737 of Ryanair. This is the 350 plane of EasyJet. This is the Southwest in your country, or JetBlue, or all these guys. This is not the legacy. In the medium all, the legacy died. I mean, except for one thing, they have some branches to organize the hub, because the hub continue to be probably a, a big part of the game. But the hub is in danger for the legacy and for the Gulf for one reason. Everybody agreed that the market continue to grow. More the market will grow, more the point to point Comes in back. each cities will be an answer. Especially in secondary cities. Exactly. And in this way, what will be the position of the hub? Because for the people, do you think that the hub is a dream? Is it a dream to start from a point to arrive in the middle of the travel to a, an amazing airport, because now every, every airport is amazing, you know? Now you arrive in the airport, and to recover your luggage, you take a train. Amazing. That, that, that's great. I mean, this is the size of the... The people feel that today. And when you say that for the same price, the thing is the same price. If, you, if we tomorrow move massively from Europe to Asia on the point to point with brand new plane for 600 euros round trip to travel to China, India and all these countries could be a massive problem for the Gulf. Because nobody's stopping and them. It, and this is why this, uh, this business is, 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 is beautiful. Because each cycle it's different. And each cycle is an answer, not an answer for us, an answer for the customers. Right, but we've, we've an started... Answer for the, this is a customer who decide. But we've, always, we've probably come full circle here because we started point to point, then we went to hub, and now you're saying you're coming back to point to point. The hub was probably the great answer to cover the world massively. I mean, when, when you look at the hub of the big company like Air France, the choice is a network in a company like that is amazing for the customers. But the problem is its connection. And more and more, the, the point to point will be an answer. And, and the problem is, 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 uh, is where? The problem is the low cost. They are not crazy. They start, by, they start the business by what? Not to cover a little point with another little point. They start by the massive route. If you look Excel on New York, it's, 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 it's great. I mean, six years ago, I start by two flight a week. Everybody love. Everybody. I meet some guys in a big airline in France. I don't tell you the name, but you can imagine who. They told me like that. Two flight a week. We have six a day. You can leave. Six years ago. Huh? Today, it's one flight a day with 400 seats every day. One with uh, Excel Airways and two flights a day with La Compagnie, only on business class starting from Orly. And the marketplace of La Compagnie on the routes Paris, New York is 20% of the market on the business class. And it's a low cost concept, but it's a full, it's a full business class. 
to be clear, the point to point could be a nightmare tomorrow for some, some players. I think that hub will never disappear. It will be a reorganization of the business, probably, including for the golf. I don't believe that the golf will disappear. The only thing is, I think that the golf need to move probably on Alliance, mixed probably an offer with direct flight and indirect flights to cover everything. But if they stay with just their hub in the middle of the golf, they will be in trouble in 10 years, not today. 10 years. The business model for La Company is different. You started that company in the, in the midst of a lot of competition and all that other competition went away. There was Silver Jet, there was Max Jet, there was uh, Open Skies, all with the same model more or less, and they all went away. How'd you stay? Originally, the airline business, I mean the big legacy, they used first class, business class, economic class, okay? And the revenue on the back of the plane, on all this part, the economic class, was completely okay. To be clear, to be a little bit aggressive on this part was, was not a deal, was not a problem. And when, when the silver jet and all this company came, the timing was not very good because at this period, what at this time, what was the answer of the, of the legacy? to put out, finally, the, the first class. Remember that? You remember that? Yeah. 20 years ago. And to organize all the top of the plane. Business class. Business class. And not 15 or 10 seats, but probably 20, 30, sometimes 45. Some 777 have uh, around 40 or 55 seats on business class, sometimes more. And it's, it's clear that the competition on this, on this business class and probably the quality of the offer in terms of, uh, of many things. I mean, uh, I mean uh, point uh, in terms of fidelity and all these frequent things, flyer. Fa frequent flyer and all these things, probably was a big stress when you start the model. Today, the configuration is really different. The, the configuration is, for the legacy, the back of the plan on economic class, revenue going down. Due to who? the low-cost airline on the long haul who start the business. If you take the routes Paris-New York, on the economic class, everybody agrees now it's a big fight. Revenue is low, definitely. These guys, I mean, on the legacy, they have a serious problem. To be efficient in terms of business class, they need to fly, for some of them, you agree, four, five times a day to be powerful in terms of offer. When you are a businessman, especially, and it's not for the economic class, they don't <laughs> drive. Because for the economic class, the people, they don't dream about a flight every hour to New York. They dream about the price. To be clear, you put two planes of 800 seats every day when you are a legacy to New York, you will cover the offer of, of, of the economic class. But you don't cover the flexibility needed by the market on the business class. They okay? want frequency. But when you put five or six flights a day on some big destination like that, you need to feed a lot your economic class to, to, to recover your, the money, the cost of your flight. And this is why, what is the situation of a legacy within Paris? They are here, New York is here. To cover six flights a day, they need to feed a part of Europe. This is the case of Air France or Lufthansa in Frankfurt or British Airways in London. These guys, they need to feed their big program point to point, starting from their capital to New York, for example. And what is the revenue of a guy who travels between Frankfurt and New York via Paris? He paid lower, lower than the guy who, who buy the ticket Paris, New York. Why he pay lower? Because the business- manager. The business considered that the flight, the indirect flight, is not a good service for the customer. But first, the, cons the consumer, the customers, he considered that an indirect flight is not a really good offer. And it is not ready to pay the, a big price to stop one hour in Frankfurt or, or one hour, two hours, in, in, uh, in especially for a flight of seven hours like New York. I mean, when you leave from London to New York, you have seven hours flight from Paris, seven hours, eight hours from, uh, from, from Frankfurt. To be clear, the stress of the, the connection 
is, is, is okay if you paid lower than the direct flight. The Frankfurt New York sell by Lufthansa is more expensive for the consumer than the flight for Air France who move by Paris with a connection. This is the business of the hub. The low cost arrive came and point to point non-stop put non-stop the price of the best offer of the guys in the other airline. When when Excel start the New York starting from Paris, the incredible thing is finally we never touch the traffic of Air France. That's amazing. Never. A little bit nothing. Nothing compared to the real business. The problem was not for Air France, because we are a French airline. Point to point to New York. The problem f was for British, Lufthansa, Iberia, because these guys, during 10 years before Excel came, or Excel or other low-cost airlines starting from Paris to New York, agreed. These guys, their offer at 600, to be clear, 200 euro less than, than the direct flight of their company in their own country. I mean, this offer, what the price of a direct flight of a low-cost airline? Sometime with brand new plane. Or re, or that, that's, this is why the consumer will change the profile of the business. It's not us. This is the request of the, to, to fly point to point. This is the request of the consumer. But then again, the argument has always been that if you're going to go flying into the home state or the home airport of a major legacy carrier, they're going to kill you. They're going to beat you up because they can sell tickets lower than you can and lose money longer. But back to the stress on, on the business class. Why we back to the green with La Company and more probably than the experiences on the past? We put on each plane 74 business class seats. We have no economic class on this plane. It's the pure original model. Remember that Open Sky, they start with that, and finally they put economic class in a part of the plane, and finally they, f they finish with three class on the plane. Okay, great, but it's not the models. The models of La Compagnie is really clear. You buy a business class, you are in a plane fully business class, you are with, uh, with cabin crews fully drive to, 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 to fly on a business class all the year, they don't know another business. I mean, the, the cabin crews of La Company, they don't know what, what is an economic class. I mean, they, they are fully in the spirit of the business class. Change a little bit the game in terms of everything. They play, they play, the cabin crews, the game of the business class every day, all around a year. It's not the cabin crew who move to the economic class the Monday, move to the business class the, the second day or the third day, they are completely, fully in the spirit of the business class. And you, and you know that? The consumer, he feels that. When they are inside our plane, on La Company, they are not in an airline. No, they are in a club. They are in house, in the house. It's not an airline, it's they, an house. They, they feel ownership. They feel ownership, they feel this is my plane. I'm not uh, numbers inside a big, uh, a big uh, business class. I'm, I agree that the business class of the triple seven of all these guys are great, fantastic, marvelous, with right cabin crews and everything. But it's a big house. It's a sort of you arrive in a castle. You know? Have you seen the business class of the triple seven today? I mean, when you are in the middle, you have the windows at five meters on one side and five meters on the other side. Okay. Have you tried our plane with just two and two? Everybody is around the windows. I mean, it's, it's like in the 60s when the people dream the airline business. Today, talk with our customers. Do you think that they dream the airline business? No, they used the airline business. With La Company, we back to the dream. The deal is back to this feeling to move somewhere and to feel Oh my God, it, it's a plane. The, finally, the real story of the, the airline business, see this, that's the dream. But how do you compete against the big powerhouse of the frequent flyer programs? Yeah, but on the frequent flyers, you know, when the difference for us, if you look the price of the business class of La Compagnie on the round trip, to be clear, we are less, we are less than 2,000 sometime less round trip than 
1,500 euros or dollars, less than 2,000. At this price, with probably around 30 or 40% less than all the legacy we are concerned by the routes par in New York, we are absolutely on the right time to produce the right production for our customers. People are addicted to the frequent flyer programs. It's one of the most effective marketing tools ever invented, at least in the 20th century. And yet, your battle against them wins because of price. Yeah, the price is the key. Can you imagine that on, if we back to the, to the two airlines, Excel and La Compagnie. On Excel, I think that probably we have on board, on board of this company, on the round a year, 95% of the customers who paid the ticket with their own money, personally. Fantastic. I mean, in, in terms to, to, to drive the dream of the people to travel, to discover points with a reasonable price, that's the deal. Because we know and we feel that this is not a company who paid for you. You paid personally. You made the choice. And we have a very interesting point. I know some uh, businessman who travel all the year with a big company. When it's time to holidays, businessman or businesswoman, when it's time to travel for holidays with the four kids in the back, for some of them, they are not ready to pay the legacy because this is not the company you paid. This is their own money. And these people, they are where? I mean, business plan, big guys. They are in my excellent plane or my La Company plane because this is the money of the pocket and they are not ready to pay uh, the price of some legacy airlines sometimes because the difference is real. In a way, you've come full circle again because you now have Willie Walsh with Level. Yeah. You've got Bjorn Koss with yeah. Norwegian. Is that the same model? It's not the same model today. It will be probably the same model tomorrow. To be clear, today and on the last six years, all the low-cost concept of Excel was a sort of mixed in terms of offer because luggage was included and continue to be included this summer. Meal is included in the price. Uh, we are probably the lower company when you compare the full price of Excel compared to the full price of our competitors. Because don't forget something, the problem for the consumer today is he, he walk in the street and look, oh my God, 90 euros to go to New York compared to Excel Airways, 299. Okay, first reaction, it's great, 90 euros. Unfortunately, 90 euros is a one way. Everybody knows that people move and never back. It's usual. This is why we have millions of French in New York. They move with this company, but don't back. It's a one way. It's a joke, but it's, it's a very interesting joke when you look all the process of the low cost business today. Second thing is in this 90 euros, it's one way, no luggage. Everybody knows that when you travel for a long haul, you have no luggage. You, you move to New York and you move naked in New York during one <laughs> week because you have no luggage, no problem, okay? Third thing, no meals. Everybody know that on 10 hours flights, nine hours, you don't eat any things. Or you can eat the neighbors on, on board like in Walking Dead, you know? <laughs> That's the deal. My first reaction on this, on this process was to say we keep the model like all include. But I think, and it's pre probably the, the, the second movement of Excel, we can stay like that because these companies are right on one thing, a part of the consumer. They don't care about the luggage and the meal. And I, I, I have no choice because people can, accept, can finally be outside of my concept because I'm all included. This is why probably in two months we will change the policy for the luggage and we'll change the policy for the meal uh, until uh, the early uh, 19. The low cost movement, and it's not just only the low cost movement, the airlines, long haul movement, because don't forget something, the legacy, they move in, inside this spirit to, 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 to luggage with payment and all these things. Why? Because more and more, and it's always a consumer. We have so different consumer. People who don't want to pay 
very easily a ticket with all included. But at the same time, you have somebody who has 20 years old. He wants to discover New York. He don't care about the sandwiches on the airport, uh, buying in the airport and move to New York and, and eat his sandwiches in, in, in the plane. Uh, they, they don't care about a big luggage when you have 20 years because we can, we can carry just five kilos in the cabin, including when you stay four days in New York. All these things will change. So what you're saying is an audience that's, com that's driven by rate and not by yeah. value yeah. is going to have an effect on you. You're going to have to play with the other guys yeah. and start charging yeah. for meals yeah. and start charging yeah. for bags. Yeah. It's, it's the future. I mean, and, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not afraid, but I think it's not a future of the low cost. It's a future of the airline business. You know, don't forget something never in the airline business. Each airline who have a model, they change or die. Me or another. If you look at EasyJet, the big, low cost, medium all airline in Europe, I'm 59 years old, and I started in the business at 15. I remember all these guys. I remember the first story of EasyJet, and the chairman who said, to work with the travel agency, never. Who is that, Stelios? The first, the first concept. Yeah. They want to buy uh, EasyJet, they move on internet, no phone, nothing. And uh, the, business the, the, the business on board, we have no, we are not concerned. We travel the world. We are not concerned by the business or specific, specific thing about the business. Have you seen EasyJet today? They talk about the businessman with frequent flyer. They talk uh, to the travel agency, please sell EasyJet, we need you. To be clear, each model have a story and every two, three or four years, sometime less, you need to look how I can put 95% of load factor in this plane. Because less than that, you die. That's the way. This is why today you have Norwegian and all these guys, they have one model. It's very interesting to look, for example, uh, the guy of Norwegian who start with this concept and suddenly what, after, what's, what's uh, after some terrific winter, yeah. look at count. After some terrific winter, because winter is not summer, and I will back to these things, it's a very important point in the low-cost business. In the winter, it was very difficult on the low-cost business long haul. What was the answer, for example, in terms of model for the guy of Norwegian? To announce a few months ago that suddenly he will put more and really more premium class on this plane. Why he put premium class? Not, not just, just for one reason to increase the revenue compared to the first story of the company on the first two or three years of long goal with the 787. And it's and is probably right. I mean, because he feel that he need that to cover additional revenue compared to the stress that is he have on, on to the starting model of the low cost business. And and I can understand that right, the guy is great. But uh, I have just one concern with, with Norwegian for me, but it's a political concern. It's not a business concern. The Norwegian people, they vote twice against my Europe. And they have an airline who have all the same permit that like my French people or the German people or the Italian people or all the guys who vote at 20 years old to have a common space. These Norwegian people, they vote twice against us. But they have an airline who have the same permit. Politically, for me, it's a little bit difficult. But on a model, on the fight to push the low-cost model, the guy is great. I have no debate about that. The thing is, low-cost is the part of the future. We'll put the pressure on the legacy. Why? Because you can speak with everybody in the streets. The figure is people want to travel all around the world for 600 euros 700 euros maximum. More than that, they consider that it's not a good deal. You have two choices. You can produce at 600 or less, or you have no chance to survive. Including if you said that you put additional thing to recover a part of the money by the ancillary revenue. That's the deal. It's clearly the deal. And that's not, why, and not that's for why, a, and not that's for ex exactly why we will move on this way 
uh, now because we, we need that in terms of money. I'm, I'm honest with everybody. So on the, the mindset, 600 euros and they'll pay for luggage. The thing is, the consumer need to be very careful when he buys something, you know? Because today on the airline business for the consumer, I talk about people who don't travel every week. I talk about an American people in the middle of America who never discover France and will come one day. I talk about my French people who travel on the long haul every five years in their life, not the businessman or the businesswoman who know the connection, the trend for the luggage, what, what, where is the, the, the things to put the iPad on the plane, all these people who, who look the plane like they're, they're on their uh, own uh, stuff, you know. The thing is all these people, they don't know our game. And when, when they look uh, advertising with 90 euros to New York, some people at 20 years old said, ah, 20 euros, they discover that it's a round trip. Okay, no problem, it's 180. It's okay at 180, it's a goddamn great price at 180. Okay, luggage, how much? Meal, how much? 70, pair one way, oh, 70, pair one way. You can look that, huh? Okay, 140. 140 additional to 180, oh my God, they are more than Excel Airways. This is my answer today. And when I will change the rule, the deal for me will be to ensure the consumer that it, he look and he, he not lost in the offer. The problem of a lot of people today, they think that they buy lower, sometimes it's not lower. Sometimes when you additional things, you discover at the end that the price is not, and this is the problem of the people, because you know the story. You move in your computer to buy a ticket. You are inside, because you want to travel. And finally, you came, why? Because the advertising was 90 euros. And when you are inside, this is the strong position of the low cost. They are good for that. We are good for that. When they are inside, they discover at the end of the process that finally the price is not 90 but uh, 370 with all included. And the seating, the seating is an amazing thing. You know why? During 50 years in this business, the load factor of the plane was 70% on the long haul, sometimes 65. 70% on the, on the cabin. You can arrive two hours before the flight or one hour 30 minutes before the flight and take your seating in the airport you have 70% chance to be with your wife or your kids or your husband in the plane, comfortable to travel for the family reason. On the low cost business, the load is 95. At 95, if you don't buy the seating, you have no chance to be with your family on the same place in the plane. Your wife will be on the third row. You will be on the 15 row, and your kids will be probably one here, one here, one with. For and some families, start, that's a good idea. And you start your holidays with one thing, your family is everywhere except or not around you. This is why sitting, the selling of the city is amazing. I mean, this one of the great things in terms of ancillary. People need to understand that. This is why... When you look the final price, and that's my recommendation for every consumer, when you process to travel, look your final feeling, your, your final offer with what you want. You travel at four and you want three luggage, you can do that. In, in one month, we will be ready for that for the Excel. Well, like the, everybody, like all low cost in the process now and some legacy now. But people need to understand what they buy. We need to be probably more transparent and be careful with the advertising. I mean, to look 90 euros on New York from, from airline in terms of communication, including me, I'm honest with all the consumer. Be careful with that. This, is, this price is not always accessible. Your feeling will be on time. I want to travel on the Monday what will be the final price of my request? My luggage, my family, place inside the plane, all these things. And at the end, push the button and said, I buy. And in this case, buy Excel Airways. That's mm -hmm. the deal. All right, so now we discussed the model. Now let's discuss the routes. Yeah. You're flying to New York. Yeah. You're flying to, to uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, you're flying to the Caribbean. Yeah. You're flying to Cuba, right? 
And you're also flying to other places in, 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 in Europe? In Indian Ocean, Re Reunion Island, yeah. And Tel Aviv? And Tel Aviv, yeah, in connection with New York, because it's a big market, yeah. So they connect here? Yeah, in Paris. This is my only connecting flight. But it's a, bi but it's a big market. I mean, Tel Aviv to New York is an amazing market. And not probably, a probably no limit, I mean. Uh, but not an inexpensive market. Don't, don't forget something, why the, the traffic grows? Not only because more and more people are concerned to travel because they have the capacity to buy. You have another reason. People who have the capacity historically to buy, they travel more with this price. When you live in New York and your family is in Tel Aviv, if the price is 1,000, you travel every year or every two years, to look your family. But if the price is 600 or 700, because you love your family, you travel twice in the same years. This is why the traffic grows. Because the people who are concerned by the traveling, they have more and more the power to travel more. And especially when you have family reason and all these things. You can't control fuel. You can't control labor. You still want to be a low fare carrier. How do you succeed? I think that when it's the fuel, who is concerned. The problem is not for the low cost. The problem is for the airlines. That's all. I mean, if your name is American Airlines, Air France, or Lufthansa, or British Airways, they put the same fuel in the plane, with just a little bit different sometimes. They have lower passenger on board, because the the the, the the deal for an airline, uh, if you look a 330 of a legacy airline with three class, sometimes two or three class and all these things, they put around 250 people, 240. I mean, uh, Excel or the other low cost airline, all of us, we don't put 240 seats on board the same plane. We put 350, 100 passengers more. But the, the fuel burn is close to the same. To be clear, the fuel burn is divided by 350 people compared to 240. It's a question for the legacy too. It's not just a, the fuel burn per passenger is lower on the low cost airline because we have more passenger on board, because we are concentrated on the economic class. It's clear that when Excel used a full 330, 300 on New York on the whole economic class. I don't need business class on Excel Airways. I have La Compagnie I mean, <laughs> on a separate plane. But on, on Excel, we put 408 seats on the 300. F the fuel burn is the same than the guy you travel with 300 or 315. To be clear, in including in terms of, uh, of uh, for the, I talk to the green part in Europe, the green parties, or in America. Lower, low-cost airlines are more efficient in terms of fuel burp and passenger than the legacy airline. And that's, it, it's interesting for the next 20 years when the fuel will be a problem because people can say anything, everything. The deal stay the price. If tomorrow the airline business said that the price of the ticket, including for the low cost, will be increased of 30%, the traffic stop to growth is going down because it's a question of power to buy. You agreed. I mean, in this case, who will be the winner on the long period of fuel higher? Could be the low cost. And, and, it, and not everybody is focused to the low cost in terms of fuel because they said that we are so close of the bone in terms of pricing that the fuel, we put immediately the fuel in the price. It's right, but on a period, on a long time period, everybody will back to his position to cover the cost, including the legacy. This is why it's clear that on six months or one year period, effect on the fuel basis for the low cost could be a, 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 a difficult position, but not on the long term, because everybody paid the same fuel. I mean, uh, Norwegian or Excel Airways or, uh, or, or, or British Airways or Lufthansa, the fuel is a fuel. If the Brent is tomorrow at 100 
uh, compared to six, 60 uh, four months ago, everybody will pay the invoice, the bill. Now, we're talking about four A330s at XL, yeah. one leased 787 from Ethiopian. Right? Yeah. And just, just for the summer. Just for the summer. Yeah. And then for La Compagnie, how many 75s? Two 75s, but with real brand new thing because two 321 Neo Airbus uh, will be delivery in uh, April 2019, second plane in uh, 2019 in August. To be clear, on the New York routes, the 757 will be replaced by brand new plane, brand new seats, full, completely full flat, which is not the case today of La Compagnie. It's not pure full flat, it's a little bit inclined. And, and on, on La Compagnie with the brand new plane, the quality of the business class will be equivalent of many airlines who travel on the routes. But in terms of sheer size, you're still a small airline. You're still yeah. very small yeah. by comparison to even Norwegian. Norwegian's got all these 787s running all over the place, yeah. right? Is he too big? The, the question of the size is a big deal, but uh, you know, flexibility could be an answer sometimes compared to the big size. The deal of Excel, it's probably to move to six or seven 330. Uh, still small. 20, yeah, to, uh, it's too small, but if you look the French airline outside of Excel, the size of the French airline, and it's not enough, I agree with you. It's uh, around seven planes for, uh, for Corsair, 10, 11 planes for, uh, for uh, another. Uh, the size of this company is not enough and it will be the fight of the next five years. But in this case, I think this is why we opened China. This fight on, on, on one, just one sector with the Atlantic is not enough to grow, probably. That's, that's, that's the key. And, and don't forget something. I mean, uh, Norwegian was uh, with an incredible growth in the last three years, mm -hmm. but, but with an incredible debt. To the, everybody know that beauty of the model, everybody believe. And now you have uh, Lufthansa and, and AG fight to buy, uh, to buy Norwegian. I believe in one thing, concentration will continue. I mean, in terms of airline business. And in this case, you have two games, and it could be the, tr the, 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 the story of Excel, to be bring inside the concentration, like part of the concentration, or to move like other airline inside these giants with more flexibility. It's, it's probably, I was 25 years, one of the top guy of Corsair. I'm now on the last 12 years, the chairman of Excel. On the last two years, the chairman of La Compagnie. 40 years of my life was with airline with never more than 10, 20 planes. It's, it's, uh, it's my life. It's, to be clear, it's another life. Huh? It's not the life with uh, 200 planes. It's another life. But finally, it's funny to look an Excel Airways with, uh, with and La Compagnie with six planes, who are known in France more than big airlines who come in the country in the last 30 years. That's, I'm proud of that with my staff. I mean, the people, they know Excel Airways. I mean, it's a great name. This is why we need to have more planes because Excel, it's big, you know? And, uh, and the name is incredible in the internet because this is the only airline in the world. You put two letters and you arrive on us. I mean, you have some airlines with name like that, you know. Uh, I think we have the right name for the future. With the numbers of Chinese that are traveling now and the numbers that are projected to travel in the next coming years, I presume you're uh, training in your Mandarin right now? Yeah. That's, the feeling is China for me. The feeling is Asia, the feeling is China. Uh, Jinan is the first destination of Excel. The big news is on the last 50 years, this is the first French airline to move to China outside of our national company. It's, it's great for us. I mean, uh, first step, because it's a part of our future completely. So it's not about the French going there, it's about the Chinese coming to France. Yeah, more than the French, I think. Don't forget something. The the uncomfortable position of the French airline on the last 50 years was probably 
to be out, not Air France, but the other airline. We, uh, we was out of the incoming business. It's amazing. If the job is to carry the 70 million French people, uh, including the 5 uh, million who is unemployment, to be clear, a suffer country economically, especially on the last 15 years. I hope with uh, Macron that it will be better in terms of uh, economic things, because this is the key of the peaceful position in a, in, a, in a country or in a place. I mean, to have employment, that's the deal in America, in Europe, everywhere. The thing is, if we want to grow, the deal is not to carry the, the, the French. The deal is to, to bring the people who want to discover our country. I mean, the, when, we, when, when I started in America with Excel in, uh, in 2010, on, 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 on LA, on, on, on Frisco, on Miami, on New York, what was the big surprise for the little French airline Excel Airways? 50% of Americans on board. Or we are unknown. It's a little airline, four planes. 50% of Americans on board without any advertising in, in, in America. In America, my budget in terms of publicity advertising is $125,000. And with this nothing money, we put 50% of America on board. Why? Because we are the lower airline. It, because the people found our price. When you, when you look on the, on, on, on the business, when you look the position of Excel in terms of pricing, we are always on the first three better price compared to all the airlines, including Norwegian and everybody. That's the deal. And That's the fight. And you'll stick with that? Yeah, I like th This is the position. And this is the future. To stay on the top airline in terms of lower price. That's the deal. But we need to increase the business by, by other things. Laurent, thank you very much. Pleasure. We really appreciate that.